Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, richtv.io, and we've got a pick for you that we brought to you first that's been a big winner with some big breaking news, GIVX, GiveX, Information Technology Group, GIVX, on the Toronto Stock Exchange in Canada, GIVXF, on the OTCQX, highest tier exchange in America, big breaking news, 2021 fiscal year-end results, and fourth quarter 2021 financial results, Right here, right now, exclusively with your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Now let's take a look. Website. Shall we? GiveX.com rewards your employees with the gift of choice. So revenue grew 7.1% to 55.2 million, and gross transactional volume increased 19% to 6.5 billion compared to the 12 month period ending December 31st, 2021 while customer locations reached 100,000. GiveX Information Technology Group Limited, otherwise known as GiveX, on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol GIVX, and on the OTC markets under the symbol GIVXF, is pleased to present its financial results for the fiscal year and three-month periods ending December 31st, 2021. GiveX reports in Canadian dollars and in accordance with international financial reporting standards, otherwise known as IFRS. So we brought you guys GiveX first. We're very proud of this. They've been a big winner for our community. Congratulations to investors all over the world. And let's hear from the CEO. Our steady revenue growth and solid earnings reflect GiveX's commitment to increasing revenue with consistent EBITDA margins. Very, very important, said GiveX CEO Don Gray, who we've had on the show we increased our point of sale gross transactions volume by an incredible 54% and increased our total number of customer locations to 100,000 despite the pandemic related challenges faced by our retail, restaurant, and hospitality partners in 2021. So you can discover GiveX, you can see what they're working with here with Krabby Joe's right at givex.com. And you can see. Right here, your trusted partner for success. GiveX marks the spot. You can see some news and you can see some of the companies they are working with. Big, big names. And you can also see some of their social feeds. This is their Twitter page right here. GiveX on Twitter. You can follow them on Twitter. I am following them on Twitter. Feel free to follow them on Twitter as well. Mr. Gray added, our recent private placement in connection with our listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange strengthened our cash position to 35 million. So they got 35 million, they're generating revenue, and they're growing. This cash will be used to enhance our technology, make strategic acquisitions, and at the same time, keep our balance sheet healthy. So love to know what you guys think. You can see here GiveX on Twitter and love to know your opinion on GiveX. So in addition to this, fiscal year financial highlights, all comparisons are relative to the 12-month period ending December 31st, 2020. Revenue grew 7.1% to 55.2 million. Very impressive for GiveX. This is their LinkedIn. So feel free to learn more about them on LinkedIn. And you can see everything you need to know about GiveX on social media. This is their chart. We've been talking about them since they were at 73 cents. They've been as high as $1.05 since we've been covering them. You can see they've actually been as low as 60 cents in early December, and they've, been, they've hit a high, an all-time high of $1.25, and they're currently sitting right now at 92 cents which is well above where we started at 73. So it's already up nicely since we started. Clearly the trend is up. And the question is, where does it go from here now that they're reporting 
revenue growth. And revenue growth is one of the biggest catalysts in this market right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to perform moving forward now that the revenue continues to grow. So once again, revenue grew 7.1% to 55.2 million. Gross transaction volume GTV increased 19% to 6.5 billion. POS gross transaction volume, POS GTV increased 54% to 793 million. Adjusted EBITDA was 8.3 million in 2021 compared to 9 million in 2020. However, when normalized for the Canadian government COVID-19 wage subsidy, which was 1 million in 2021 compared to 3.3 million in 2020, adjusted EBITDA increased 28% in 2021 compared to 2020. Customer locations reached approximately 100,000. Congratulations to GiveX. That is huge growth and lots of success for GiveX. You can see here what Lone Star had to say. You can see what Fairmont Hotels and Resorts has to say. And you can see what Wendy's has to say about GiveX. So customer locations reached approximately 100,000, an increase of 5,000 locations, completed reverse takeover transaction and listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol GIVX. All right. And in addition to that, concurrently raised 22 million through a private placement once they were listed on the TSX. You can contact the company, learn about their products, learn about them, follow their blog or contact them. All right, and if we go back up to the top here, fourth quarter financial highlights, all comparisons are relative to the three month period ending December 31st, 2020. Revenue decreased 4% to 15.2 million primarily due to increased COVID-19 pandemic restrictions in the fourth quarter of 2021. Hopefully now that will be loosening and that'll be positive. POS GTV increased 81% to 269 million. Adjusted EBITDA was 2.4 million in 2021 compared to 2.9 million in 2020, mainly because of the revenue decrease noted above. POS locations increased 42% to 1,201. Fourth quarter operational highlights, GiveX shares listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, launched GiveX Pay Payment Processing Solution, Burr Burrito installed GiveX POS online ordering gift card and loyalty systems in all 170 locations, Buffalo Bills, Colorado Avalanche, and Columbus Blue Jackets installed upticks for customer payments and analytics, implemented end-to-end -end technology solutions in more than a third of Foodtastic's 650 restaurants across 21 brands. Brazilian companies distributed GiveX-powered iFood card to more than 60 million users and 100,000 points of sale, began installing GiveX POS online, ordering gift card kitchen displays, and pay at table systems, plus online ordering app in 40 milestone restaurants Canada wide. So big, big news. In addition, they were also listed on the US exchange under the symbol GIVXF. And this was the news when they got listed on the OTC exchange right here, which was announced on March 21st. GiveX now trading on the OTCQX highest tier exchange in the United States. That's not a senior exchange. So be aware of that. Put GIVXF on your radar, put on your watch list, now listed and trading in America and obviously in Canada under the symbol GIBX. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, and we bring it to you first. What do you think of this news? If you like this news, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. And remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. It continues to grow. Its revenues continue to grow. And you can see here, revenues grew 7.1%. And we're now at 55.2 million, despite the fact the company's trading under a dollar. 
I believe that this is extremely undervalued. Love to know what you guys think. Comment on the video. Do you like GiveX, GIVX in Canada on the Toronto Stock Exchange and GIVXF on the OTCQX in America announcing their fiscal year and fourth quarter 2021 financial results? This is Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out.